Scanning the lake's bottom, you'd expect to find dirt and the usual piece of wood, but not a potentially toxic barrel. When divers located it in August, they said their heart stopped. That's because as they wiped off the label, just look at it, the words contains 2,4-D or 2,4-5-T weed killer were revealed. Both combined are the common ingredients used to make Agent Orange. So the question, is Agent Orange at the bottom of Wallawa Lake? We don't, we don't believe so. The EPA has taken over the recovery effort for the barrels. This week, crews are using this remotely operated vehicle to locate the drums, but getting them out of the water is easier said than done. It's not a matter of just wrapping a chain around them and yanking them up. You have to be very cautious. So far, 18 have been located, only one with the weed killer label. So if they were located in August and reported, why is it taking 10 months to remove them? The EPA says it's common to see barrels sunk. Drums have been used in this lake as anchors for floating docks. When the water was last tested in June of 2018, water quality tests showed it was clean and clear of one of the chemicals. EPA is now testing the water and sediment for both chemicals and should know by next week. The DEQ wants to make it clear, Agent Orange, as we all know, produced for the military during the Vietnam War, and it was not com uh, produced commercially. The barrels that they found look like it was produced for commercial use only. The earliest one of these could come up might be tomorrow.